got enough maps there, hon? What are you guys doing? Planning our summer trip. Yeah, well, nothing's gonna top the trip we took last year. Yeah. Taking that karaoke bus to Graceland was the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> hey, you got to sing Blue Hawaii with the king. <laughs> the king? Honey, he was a fat Korean guy in an Elvis suit. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to rent a Winnebago, hook up a U-Haul to it, and just go. Don't even put anything in the U-Haul, just the sheer pleasure of pulling it. Let's visit Grandma and Grandpa Foxworthy in Georgia. Good idea. Your grandma wants to show us that car she overhauled. <laughs> you know what? It would be great to take Matt to see the Summer Olympics in Atlanta. Oh, the Olympics in Georgia. God, you know we're gonna screw that up. <laughs> I guarantee you, when they let those doves go at the opening ceremony, there are gonna be guys in the parking lot with shotguns. <laughs> karaoke bus is sounding better and better. I just can't wait to see the opening ceremony. Greetings, y'all! <laughs> and welcome all you dang foreigners from other nations. <laughs> Dear Lord, be with our guests and prepare them for the butt whooping they are about to receive. Seriously, though, I wouldn't mind going to see some of those events. Yeah, you know, the rest of the world hadn't caught on to this, but the river where they're doing the kayak races mm -hmm. is the same river they filmed Deliverance on. <laughs> that ought to add a whole new degree of difficulty. Because <laughs> if Ned Beatty couldn't make it down that thing in one piece, what chance does a Frenchman have in a pair of bicycle pants? <laughs> This stuff. There's nothing in here but bran and oats and barley. It's not fit for children. Here, have some of my sugar pops. No, thanks. Too sweet. What are you worried about? You're gonna get another set of teeth? <laughs> hey, hon, you want some breakfast? <laughs> All righty, it's time to play everybody's favorite first trimester game. How nauseous is the pregnant lady? Cow, I'm guessing sick as a dog. <laughs> I'm guessing I'll shut up now. That's the bus. Hey, do you have your lunch and your uh, video for tape exchange day? Yep, right here. Thomas the Tank Engine. Mm. Feel better, Mom. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Bye. Bye. You know, I don't remember you being this sick when you were pregnant with Matt. Oh, sure. Because you didn't spend the first three months with your head over the toilet. Freshman year of college, I did. <laughs> oh, don't forget, tonight's the wine and... Cheese? Yeah. It's the parents' party for the Genesis program, and it's at the director's house. The director? Have I met him? Um, you know, kind of. About eight years ago, you put in his air conditioning. Dr. Chadwick? Chadwick? That's the only guy to ever accuse me of shoddy workmanship. And then he didn't pay me. The guy still owes me 750 bucks, that idiot. But you're over it now, and that's good. <laughs> no way am I going to that guy's house. Oh, honey, come on. Sometimes you just gotta play the game. Besides, we're doing this for Matt, so just go and put on a good face, okay? Okay, I'll go. But let me tell you, we Foxworthies don't play the game. Years ago, the county wanted to put a highway through my Uncle Frank's property, but old Uncle Frank stood his ground. Came down to him going nose to nose with a 50,000 pound steamroller. We think that bump at mile marker three is him. <laughs> What? 
what are you doing over here? That's our booth. Jeff, I just discovered something. From our old booth over there, you can't eyeball the dollies at the counter. <laughs> Muriel says you can look, but you can't touch. So I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Walt, that's a guy. <laughs> Damned hippies. <laughs> What's going on with you, boss? Oh, I got to go to a stupid party tonight for Matt's school at Chadwick's house. Chadwick? Didn't we put in a central air system for him a few years back? You had a problem with that guy. You never told me about it. Oh, boy. It's been eight years. I guess that's long enough. The guy accused us of shoddy workmanship. Shoddy. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that guy. Oh, it's not worth it. We did a great job. The guy's just a jerk. Let me get him. I'm getting older. They probably wouldn't even put me in a regular prison. <laughs> Jeff, got some mail for you. Russ, the mail didn't come till 3 o'clock. Well, actually, this came a long time ago. I found it while I was cleaning out the bathroom. And Walt, here's your bridge. I don't wear a bridge. Ew! <laughs> so who left all the stuff in the bathroom? <sighs> Doesn't matter. I'm the new guy. I'll take the blame for it anyway. Clean the toilet, Russ. Make the coffee, Russ. Why's the mail in the bathroom, Russ? Oh, shut up, Russ. Shut up, Russ. Shut up, Russ. <laughs> hey, hey, this is from Taggart. Taggart? That's the Cadillac of home furnaces. <laughs> I've wanted to be a Taggart man all my life. <laughs> Cut it pretty close there, Walt. <laughs> Man, I'd kill to carry Taggart. There's a guy down where I shoot pool, wears a Taggart jacket, rubs it in my face. Literally rubs it in my face. He's 6'4", 230. What am I gonna do? What do they say? They're gonna let us carry the line? Well, it looks like it. Oh, but this isn't good. It says we're gonna have to pass a test if we want to be Taggart rep. <laughs> I'm not worried about any damn test. On this. <laughs> this? What, do they want us to build a space shuttle? <laughs> Yeah, we have to do it by tomorrow. That's when the Taggart guy's gonna be here to test us. Tomorrow? Well, the, Jeff, I, I should tell you, I'm not good at tests. I cramp up. Oh, don't worry, we can do this. Start at the front. Chapter one, unpacking your Taggart. Slow down. I, I can't absorb this. You know, I should really be studying for the Taggart test instead of going to Chadwick's stupid party. We'll only stay five minutes. Just be nice to Dodger Chadwick for five short minutes. I promise I'll be a big person. Unless it comes up in conversation, I will not mention the words liar, cheapskate, or dirtbag. <laughs> I've been called worse. Cindy. Jeff. Hey, hey, get this. Hmm. I'm leaving work, and Nurse Ratchet asked me to work another shift. <sighs> What did you tell her? Oh, I'll tell you what I told her. I said, hey, lady, I have a life outside of this hospital. I am babysitting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm babysitting tonight. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Matt. Dad, can I watch the tape I got for tape exchange today? Sure you can. Hey, the Lion King, that's a good one. Thomas the Tank Engine, didn't you take this tape to school? I thought I did. Hon, where's the tape of Matt's birth? Uh, it's in its case. <laughs> Hon, you're, uh, you're gonna get a big kick out of this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you won't. Uh, anywho, I think the tape of you giving birth made it into tape exchange day. <laughs> Sorry. Some kid has a copy of Matt's birth tape? Well, actually, it's more your tape. Matt doesn't show up until the end. <laughs> Hon, it's not that bad. You know, maybe we don't have to go to this party after all. Oh, no, 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 no. If I'm going, you're going. Great. I'm going to a party where strangers have seen a video of me giving birth. Well, they might be strangers to you, Karen, but something tells me you're not going to be a stranger to them. <laughs> thinking when we take Matt's birth. Hey, it wasn't my idea. There's nothing photogenic about a birth. 
just looks like a wet St. Bernard trying to come in through the cat door. It felt like that, too. This is gonna be so humiliating. Oh, now, don't worry, hon. I'm sure nobody's even seen the tape. Okay, so maybe word's gotten around. Hey, feel that air? That's mine. He's been living off that air for eight years. Honey, don't start. Let's just say hello to Dr. Chadwick and get out of here. Dr. Chadwick? Doctor, he runs an elementary school. What's he a doctor of anyway? Tetherball science? <laughs> Dr. Chadwick! The Foxworthies! How nice of you to come. And so nice to see that you're not letting the unpleasantness of the past stand in the way of Matthew's education. Yep. Anyway, Matt is really excited about the Genesis program. Ah, uh, we feel it is but the first step in a lifetime of learning. For after all, when we stop learning, we stop growing, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Honey? Yep. <laughs> well, anyway, Mrs. Foxworthy, you are a nurse. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Foxworthy, what are you doing now? Heating and air. <laughs> Still, <laughs> as the philosopher said, he conquers who endures. I suppose that's true even in the heating and air game, huh? <laughs> well, you'll have to excuse me. There's a terrible draft just about here. I've been living with it for eight years. <laughs> that's honey, it. Honey, 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 don't say anything. <gasps> oh! 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 I didn't say anything. <laughs> There she is, my lovely bride. Matt, isn't your mama beautiful? It's not working, Dad. Look, I know you're still mad, but last night wasn't my fault. Chadwick was a jerk. You spilled a drink on the man. It wasn't me. It was the hand of God. All I asked you to do was behave yourself for five minutes, and you just couldn't do it. Jeff, hello. Craig, I'm in the middle of fighting with my wife. Yes, well, you know, when Matt is playing ball on your front lawn, tends to go into my yard. A lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he'll get better. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm having all the neighbors sign this, so if uh, you want to just go ahead and um, make your mark. I mean, I know you can write. What is it? A private security patrol? No way. Hear me out. For only $50 a month, we can have uniformed security guards protecting our neighborhood. From what, roving bands of gardeners? <laughs> Make your jokes. But I just bought Janine new sapphire earrings. I have valuable paintings, a Persian rug, antiques you cannot replace. I have the entire collection of Star Trek glasses. <laughs> Even the hard-to-find Lieutenant Uhura. <laughs> not interested. Jeff, picture it. You come home after work, and there, right there, stands an armed, hooded intruder. What would you do? Send him over to your house? <laughs> you people from the land of cotton kill me. <laughs> I'll check back. Karen, can we just stop this? It was just a little spill. No, it was just a little spill until Mrs. Peterson slipped on the quiche. Her cane should have had a rubber tip. You know what? Your behavior was a lot more embarrassing than that videotape. Yeah, look, let's just drop it. I'm gonna be late for work. Well, any chance at all of a little kiss? If you can catch it, you can kiss it. This is test anxiety, I know it. I just read this whole chapter, I don't remember any of it. How come you're not nervous? I did my homework. Here. Wow. This has all the answers on it. <laughs> no, that's just the math. These have all the answers. I'm not going to pass. Feel my heart. It's going a mile a minute. Feel it? Hey, Walt, now might be a good time to sing that song you wrote about Rush. <laughs> you guys ready for the test? I am. Choking boy here is on the ropes. 
How about you? Nah, I was gonna study last night, then Karen and I got into a big fight because I wouldn't suck up to Chadwick, even if he does run Matt's school. I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. Everybody sucks up. Sometimes even we have to suck up to you because you're the boss. <laughs> when? Like now, when we're pretending to be interested in your son's education. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't believe it. There's Chadwick. Jeff, if that guy's such a jerk, why don't you just put Matt in another school? No, Matt loves the school. The teachers are great. All his friends are there. The only problem is King Smarty Pants over there. <laughs> Look at him. He walks like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Foxworthy. I was just about to give you a call. I'd like to see you and your wife in my office this afternoon. Why? It's something best discussed in private. See you at three. Yeah. Three. I got to hand it to you, Jeff. I wouldn't have been able to keep my cool with that creep. It takes a strong man to wuss out like you did. And I'm not just sucking up here. I really mean it. You think I like sitting here and taking that from Chadwick? I've got no choice. He's got all the power. It's a tough situation, pal. Reminds me of the stockyards. First, they stun you with a shot to the back of the head, and then while you're half alive, they lop off what makes you a man. Look over there. It's a guy in a tagger jacket carrying a tagger briefcase. I bet he's a tagger guy. Mr. Foxworthy, Ed Brooks from Taggart. I saw your note on the door. Hi, I'm Jeff. Uh, this is Walt and Russ. <laughs> you want to just head over to the office and do this test thing? Yes, my left arm's numb. I'm having a heart attack. Those are strong shooting pains. You're having a stroke. And then in the fifth grade, they tested my vision, and I got nervous and said a B was a D, so they put me in glasses, and I had headaches till the seventh grade. Look, the truth is we're all a little nervous. Uh, some of us more so than others. Well, this is the test. About 40 pages. A lot of math. Oh, dear God. Hey, somebody took my math pencil. <laughs> Tell you what. You seem like regular guys. You know, regular guys. Working for a living, looking to buy a little help. Regular guys. You guys asking us for a bribe. Oh, <laughs> petty cash is in the drawer, oh, dog. <laughs> just a minute. Do you think you could just walk right in here and ask for a bribe because you have the test, which you think gives you all the power? <laughs> You'd love it if we just bowed down and played your little game, wouldn't you? Well, guess what? You are barking up the wrong tree, mister. <laughs> this is Foxworthy heating and air, and we don't play games. And if that's not good enough, well, you can just get the hell out of my shop. I think what Jeff is trying to say is we love the Taggart line. <laughs> We've been sitting out here for 20 minutes. What's taking him so long? Oh, it's all part of Chadwick's game. He's trying to psych us out. He's good, oh, he's good. You know, it's not enough that we apologize or pay for his dry cleaning. No, he wants us to come into his office so he can just keep pulling our strings, make us dance like clowns. Dance, clowns, dance. Mr. and Mrs. Foxworthy, come right in. Come in, come in. Please have a seat. Thank you so much for coming by. I uh, wanted to talk to you about your son, Matthew. Yeah, what about Matt? Well, it's a delicate matter, so I thought we'd best talk in person. It seems that Matthew brought a video to school of his birth. Oh, <laughs> you know, I can explain that. We thought we gave Matt Thomas the tank engine. It's mm. about a uh, talking train. Woo -hoo! <laughs> it's cute. Boy, kids just love it. Not a placenta in it. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Yes. Yes, just a minute. One moment. 
Do you believe this guy? Pretends to get a phone call so we can just sit here and sweat? He's just messing with our minds now. Keep pulling our strings, puppet master. Oh, honey, just stop. You know, let's let him just say what he has to say and get out of here. Remember, we're here for Matt. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Foxworthy, you know, raising a child today is very, very hard. Hmm? Mom and Dad both work, struggling to find quality time. And our children today are, are so easily influenced, I think it behooves us to double our efforts to make sure those influences are good. Can't leave the TV on all day. <laughs> and we can't leave inappropriate videos just lying around. Let me cut right to it. Mr. Foxworthy, as an educator, my concern is that, well, given your rural background, the you child... You arrogant, pencil neck geek. <laughs> My husband's rural background makes him three times the man you'll ever be. He is a terrific father. He's honest, humble, direct. Good in the sack. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Chadwick, I think I've said all I have to say. Well, I haven't. You know, Dr. Chadwick, we could get into a lot of stuff here, but let's just boil it down. First of all, I don't do shoddy workmanship. Not as a heating and air man, and especially not as a parent. And second, if any of this affects my son at your school, well, you're an educated man. You figure it out. Yeah. Ready to go, hon? <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, doctor, the money you still owe me, keep it. This was worth every penny. <laughs> See you at open house. <laughs>